Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well and welcome to a brand new video. So as you've really seen by the title of today's video, we are here with another haul, but this time, as I said, mixing up the brands, we are coming at you with an I saw it first haul, which all of the pieces in this video are kindly gifted by the brands who I'm very grateful for. So like I said, I obviously wanted to change up the brands I'm working with and showing you guys because Obviously ASOS on my ride or die and that will never change, but I do also shop at other places. So I wanted to make sure that I'm showing you those places and showing you other brands. And I know that you guys like to shop at other brands as well. So I kind of want to show you different bits from those places as well. So I picked up a few items from I at first, like I said, that they gifted to me. So I just thought I'd come on here and show you guys what I chose. I'll obviously insert try on clips so you can see how everything fits. All of the details and descriptions will be down below if you wanted to pick anything up or just check anything out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I hope you enjoyed the change up of brands and obviously there will be more to come. So if you do want to see that, then obviously please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification for bells. Hit the notification for bells? Hit the bell for notifications so you guys know when I'm posting a new video and you will be notified and you'll be able to see all the other hauls and other content that is to come from my channel. But without further ado, let me show you the first item and get straight into the haul. Okay, so the first item that I wanted to pick out was some new jeans. Now I have some go-to denim jeans that I've bought over the past kind of few months that and I'm really happy with and they fit really well and I know that I can just put them with anything and they're gonna go. So I kind of have really built the foundations of my denim collection, but now I kind of wanted to branch out and try a few different things. So a lot of the jeans that I currently have are in quite light washes. So I did want to try sort of a new darker wash, which is why I picked out these jeans from I saw it first. So they're this darker blue. I don't know, do they call it indigo? I don't know if it's quite that colour, but it's definitely a dark blue wash denim. Um, so obviously they're like this. Let me put the tag in so that's not in the way. So it's just a normal waist like this, obviously like any jeans, but then they're like a straighter, baggier leg. So they're almost meant to, I think they, uh, they were called the 90s. Yeah, the baggy 90s jean. So um, yeah, I just wanted to try a few different pairs of jeans and obviously, they had loads on ice for it first. So I thought I would give these a go. So yeah, um, the denim quality itself feels quite good. Um, I know sometimes you can get quite cheap denim, which feels quite stretchy and like not very warm, but these feel really good quality. And I think because they're like straighter leg, they're a little bit more rigid to give them that shape. So yeah, I'll try these on for you guys now and show you what they look like. Okay, so next up, sticking with the theme of bottoms, it wouldn't be a haul by me if I didn't feature some kind of lounge or jogger. So um, yeah, I picked up a pair of black joggers. They're just a plain pair of black joggers. There's nothing special about them. They're just cuffed like that at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and then they're cuffed here at the waist as well. They don't actually come with a drawstring. Um, but usually the waistband on these, if you get the right size, is fine and they hold up really nicely. I like that they're like a baggy fit on the leg as well. You don't tend to have to size up. They're just generally like that, um, which is a fit that I really like. I saw it first do really good um, basics and especially joggers. I have a white pair from there, which I previously got in a gifted collaboration uh, last year. I think that was in the first lockdown, actually. Um, so yeah, I loved the white ones. So I thought I would pick up a black pair as well, just to build on my collection. And you can never have enough joggers, especially at the minute when we're basically living in them every day. I mean, I've got a gray pair on right now. Um, and anyone that follows me on Instagram will know that all I wear is streetwear and loungewear. And yeah, I live in tracksuits. So anything comfy is always got my attention. So yeah, I picked up some black joggers, which I'll show you how they look now. Okay, so the next item that I picked out was kind of in mind to go with the black joggers, just because like I said, I'm living in matching tracksuits and sets and even things that obviously don't be aren't sold as a set, but they will definitely go together. So I picked up this black um, Eve St. West Hidden Hills jumper. Um, I had the t-shirt version of this, like I said, in my last um, Ice Whip First collaboration and I wore it to death. I've actually had to donate it to charity now because, well, I always donate t-shirts to charity when they're like 
I'm not going to wear them anymore, but they're still wearable, if that makes sense. I know sometimes people are like, why are you donating to charity if you're not wearing it anymore? But it was still wearable, I just wasn't wearing it anymore, if that makes sense. So I actually did donate that to charity. But now, I have this jumper, which I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of, like I said, because I'm living in loungewear, streetwear, joggers, jumpers. So this is perfect. I got it in quite an oversized fit, so it's going to be quite baggy, which you'll obviously see in the try-on clip. But yeah, I got it to go with the joggers, so it's just an easy, like, throw on and you're ready to go outfit even though we're actually not going anywhere. But even to lounge around in, it's super comfy. The material's super soft. Okay, sorry if you heard any noise in that last clip, by the way. I was filming and my mum decided to put the hoover on, so I just had to go tell her to stop because I'm obviously filming. So next up, obviously, as you can see here, is another loungy kind of piece. But basically, the idea behind this before I show you was that I have a lot of loungewear and tracksuits and things that I can wear out and I have a lot of grey and black and obviously every colour pretty much under the sun now. But what I don't actually have, which is probably a very first world problem, is like a darker grey. So as you can see I'm wearing this grey hoodie which is from ASOS, but I don't have anything in like more of an ashy tone, so kind of wanted to pick something up from Icewit first that filled that gap in my wardrobe, which is exactly why I picked up this hoodie. So it says New Orleans on the front, which I just thought was really cool. I really like this style of text and uh, print on sort of stuff. It gives me like, I think I've said it before, like American college vibes. Um, I got it again, super oversized. So it's actually really big. So it's super slouchy. The arms kind of fall down the sh uh, off the shoulder a little bit, which I liked. And I like this was a hoodie rather than a sweatshirt. I've been quite into sweatshirts recently. Um, and I have quite a few now in my collection. So I haven't really been buying any hoodies, he says, but I have actually been getting a few hoodies so that's probably a lie but anyway that's how I'm justifying it I wanted this hoodie and I saw it and to be honest this would look really nice with those blue jeans that I showed earlier as well and um, because the tones complement each other quite well so yeah I just picked out another hoodie um, in terms of prices I can't remember them off the top of my head so I'll try and leave everything down below obviously all the information if you guys want to check anything out and then it has that front pocket as well here just like every other hoodie has so yeah a super classic piece and a staple that's going to be in my wardrobe for a very long time but I'll show you guys what this looks like on now all right so next up this is actually nearly at the end of the haul I feel like I've flown through this, which I'm kind of glad because I didn't want to make this too much of a long video and obviously with it being a haul I kind of wanted to just show you guys everything pretty quickly. Um, but next up is actually a t-shirt. So I did say that I got a t-shirt last time that I worked for Icewit first and I worked death and I think the quality of their t-shirts is a really nice quality and the fit was really nice hence why I did wear it so much. So I decided that I was going to pick up another t-shirt. So I got this Atlanta 99 one uh, again like I said with the hoodie I like this print it gives me American like college jock vibes so I just really like that design I obviously live in black clothing so a black t-shirt is always a winner for me and I liked the white print on it and I don't know if you guys can tell properly actually but the the print's almost a bit like it's faded and it looks a bit old which I know probably if you're buying something new you don't want it to look like that and to someone else it's probably not going to look like it's a design feature but it is and that's another reason why I was drawn to it. Maybe if I hold it a bit closer you can see it a bit better. Yeah, I think it just looks quite clean on the screen. But no, yeah, I just really liked how the design was. It was simple but yeah, the, like I said, the quality of these is really, really nice. So yeah, I just picked up another t-shirt from Ice Rip First which I will show you how it looks on now. Okay, so the final piece of this haul is actually a jacket. Now, I recently have got into gilets and I've been seeing them quite a bit on social media. I feel like it's one of those things where it's like slowly emerging as a trend and people are dipping their toe. I picked one up from ASOS, a black one, which I've been living in. So, I wanted to pick up another one. Now, you're probably going to say, why did you get it in the same colour? Because it is another black one. But the style is different and the sort of vision I had for it was different to how I wore the other one. So the other one from ASOS is quite thin, it's quite light, whilst it's still like a padded -y, quilted -y gilet, it's not as padded as the one I'm about to show you. So I kind of wanted one that was a bit thicker. I'd say this is like a winter gilet, my other one's probably more like 
I could wear that going into summer, into like the warmer months. Whereas this one's definitely more for winter and the style's just a little bit different. So it's this black long line, basically puffered gilet. So it's quite quilted and it's quite thick and then it actually has a hood. So that gives me more like a wintry, colder month vibe. Um, and then yeah, it's just got a zip down the front. And then the other feature that I liked was that it's really long line. So it obviously comes further down the body, but then on the side, you've got this zip, which you can obviously, I don't know if I can show you. You can like unzip it, so you can have it open to almost like where a normal length jacket would sit. I don't know if that makes sense. I'll try and show you in when I try it on for you guys. But um, yeah, I just really liked that. And I think these are so easy again to just throw on. So for example, if I had my black joggers on, my black jumper on that I got, or even the gray hoodie, and then I can, need to nip to the shop where I need to just run out somewhere or I'm going for a walk I can just throw this on over the top and you've kind of got a full outfit without really trying um it's just a very easy piece very easy to style and I think if you go for a safe colour in black you cannot you can't really go wrong it's going to go with 90% of your wardrobe um but yeah so this is why I picked up another Gigli and I'm telling you I'm going to say it here you guys can quote me if it happens to call me a trendsetter, but I do think gilets are definitely on the rise. I think a lot more people are going to start wearing them. I mean, if not, then it's definitely just me. But I have slowly seen them like arising on social media and in people's feeds. I do think they're definitely going to grow, and I personally love them. So yeah, that's why I picked up this one. But I'll show you how it looks on. Looks how it looks on. Does that make sense? I'll show you how it looks on now. Yeah, that did make sense. <laughs> Okay, so that brings me to the end of my little ice work first haul. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, I know it was probably a bit of a shorter video out of like the videos I've been putting out, but I don't want them all to be super long. And I think with hauls, it's kind of just better to get on with it and get it done, essentially, show you guys what I got. Obviously, I could do things like this over on my Instagram or my stories or make like a reel, which I would probably do anyway, styling up the outfits. But I just think it's quite nice to show you guys over here on YouTube as well and I can give you more in-depth opinions, I feel like, over here. Obviously, I can do a reel, but I'm not really talking in the reel. It's just kind of changing the outfits, whether it's on here, you can get my actual thoughts on the items. So obviously, even though this was a gifted collaboration, all of the opinions are my own, and I genuinely do just love Ice Fruit First and their pieces, especially their basics. They smash them every time. So yeah, if you guys are in the market for some new basics or anything in general, then definitely check out Ice Fruit First. But thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. If you did like this one, then please do give it a thumbs up. But all that's left to say is thank you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!